You took some pretty serious hardware home during the award season yeah. uh, earlier this year. Um, how did it feel to win two XBiz and two AVN awards? Um, it was crazy. I mean, being back at like AVN for the first time this year, like in person mm -hmm. and getting to go up on stage was like such a crazy feeling because when I got started in porn, I told myself, if I'm going to do this, like I want to go all the way. Mm -hmm. I want to be on that stage taking home awards. I don't want to be one of those girls who just like comes and shoot, shoots a few scenes and disappears. I'm like, right. that's not going to be worth it. Um, so I had already like won some awards before, but to be back like in person and be on that stage and it just, it, it just was like so exhilarating and you know, I, I love it. It like gives me something to like push myself towards and look forward to. Yeah. So, yeah. And then Expos was crazy. Like I did not expect to take home performer of the year. Like that was next level. Like I really was not expecting it to happen until I had one, I already got on stage to accept two awards. And then Cody was like, he's like, you should probably start preparing like your speech. Like you're going to win performer of the year. And I was like, no way, like shut the fuck up. And he even like turned on his camera and started like recording as we're announcing it. And I'm like, stop it. That's so embarrassing. You're not going <laughs> to say my name. And, and then they did. And yeah, it was like, such did he a get your moment. did he get your reaction? He did, he did yeah. But oh my God. it was such a pivotal moment because like I never thought that yeah. I could win an award like that. My biggest aspiration was just to be nominated for Best New Starlet when I started mm -hmm. in the industry. I was like, if I do that, then you know what, I made it far enough. Mm -hmm. And to win something like Performer of the Year was like just unbelievable. Do you, do you remember what your speech was? Like, I mean, you hadn't prepared a speech, right? Yeah. So like what did you say when you got up there? Um you know, I think I think the first people I think were my agents because mm -hmm. I don't think like I'd be here without them. Mm -hmm. um, they really like I when I came to them, I told them exactly where I wanted to be. I did the same thing with my first agent, but he mm -hmm. didn't listen to me. But when I signed I with, I think I know ATMLA, who your first agent is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> but when I signed with ATMLA, I told them I was like, "These are the companies I want to work for. Like, this is where I want to go." And they listened to me and they did what they could to like push me in that direction. And yeah, like I, I thanked all the companies I've worked with mm -hmm. and uh, I think Cody and mm -hmm. yeah, I'm like blanking on what else I said, but yeah. <laughs> and then how did you celebrate that night? Um, I went out. Yeah. I went out to like a little like after party that was happening and then, yeah, then I just went home. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so for those who don't know, what exactly did you win that year? So obviously, Expos Performer of the Year. Yeah. What were the other awards you won at Expos, and what did you win at AVN? Um, at Expos, I also won Best – the the categories at um, Expos are a little interesting. Um, but I won Best All Sex Scene. Okay. Um, and then Best – I don't know if it was Best Gonzo Scene, but I won a scene with um, – with uh, Seth Gamble and another mm -hmm. one that was for um, Blacked Raw that was like this huge orgy that mm -hmm. also won best orgy at AVN. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at AVN, I won best girl girl scene with Gianna Dior. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so do like, I mean, you said that the awards were like motivating to you. Like how mm -hmm. important to you are the awards? Um. I will say I do, like, care about them. Like, they're not, you know, it's not the ends all be all, but I know for me it's, like, a nice, like, thing to motivate myself. Like, I am kind of a competitive person. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up doing, like, dance and, you know, you went to competitions and all that. So it's, like, I tried getting back into dance now as an adult, and it feels kind of pointless because I'm, like, there's nothing that, like – You're not going to win anything? Yeah, there's nothing that, like, I'm working towards. There's no yeah. big recital. There's no right. big competition. <laughs> so I don't know. For me, like, after – especially, like, after, you know, this award season, I was immediately, like, okay, what do I want for this next year? Like, already planning, like, what am I going to do? And, you know, for me, it's it's fun, honestly, but it's not, like – if I don't win something, it's going to floor me either. You're so. not crying in the bathroom? Yeah. Every year at the awards, there's always some girl crying in the bathroom because <laughs> she didn't win, like, whatever it is she really wanted. Yeah. I always feel so bad for them. <laughs> As somebody who, like, never wins awards, I'm always like, it's okay. It's yeah. Fine. Like, life goes on. It's fine. <laughs> 
Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.